Welcome, it's day three with Owl and Raven Witch, and today we are going to spell our field guide. And the magical tool we will use is our magical quill. Yay for magical quills. Okay, so the third formula is spell casting and costume casting. And this is how we shape shift the future to the direction of our choosing. And so one of the ways we do it is by creating a magical quill and then spelling. We're using words to create magic with our field guide. So you can pick up a field guide at the Wizards Apothecary Supply Store at Treehouse. You can craft your own. It's all possible. And we are going to show you how to make your own magic quill. Impossible tasks were meant to be defined. Everything and anything is worth a try. It starts from inside. Hello, my name is Alexis Green. I am official school librarian, as well as being your written spells teacher. You will be learning with me many spells that you first write on paper or on yourself. Welcome to Lady Jane's quill making class. Today I'm going to teach you how to make your very own quill. Now at Treehouse we have the spell casting quill kit. But I also can tell you that there might be some things laying around your home or in your magical space that you could kind kind of find some of these things. So what we start with is two yards of a cord or a twine. And then you will also need a feather of some sort and a very special pen. This pen I'm using today is a calligraphy pen, so this is really nice for artists. And as you can see, I've started by taping my feather on the end of the pen. And then I've also taped my quill cord. So what we'll want to do is leave six inches from the end of the pen so we will have room to tie our charms on at the end. And so what I've done is I'm lining this up along the pen and here is where I start wrapping. And so what it will be is close loops very tightly wound around and around and I stop from time to time and push the cord together and then I will keep going. In fact, watch as we activate time-turning wizard speed. We're getting down to the end. And this is the exciting part where you wrap it very closely and then you stop right when you feel like you're close to the end. And here I'm going to teach you how to tie a special knot. It's called a square knot. And what you'll do, left over right, and then you will do right over left. And that will give us a square knot. Beautiful. And then it's time to put on our charms. I love these little charms. This one says, inspire and believe. Perfect for wizard work. On the magic bell, a little sound is always good for spelling. And again, here's the knot. We go left over right. And right over left. And then I'm going to tie a bow. And we'll take some scissors and trim off the end. And we've got our quill. Incantations bring the spells alive. The future is for you to decide. If you're lost, use the planets as a guide. They fly high alongside the stars, but don't collide. Impossible tasks.